So I'm just wondering, have you ever gotten super frustrated when you were trying to do your multiplication and division problems because you just did not understand how to do it? I know that I have. Wow, those kids looked really upset. Let's see if we can find another way to look at multiplication and division in a way that they can see it more easily. So I think a really great way to think about multiplication and division problems is to think about trying to solve them and see what they actually mean using Cuisinier rods. And that's what all these 10 different rods are right here. And this very first one right here, here's another one, is a one by one unit little square and it represents one on the end and if you move on to the next one the red one that one represents two because as you can see you can fit two white ones in the same exact space as the red one so you know that that is two by one and we rep it represents one and so the green represents three all the way up to ten so this for this first one, I'm keeping the Cuisinier rods up here so you can refer to them and see which colors I'm using. Um, and I just wanted to show you that the white one is actually um, one centimeter by one centimeter in length. If you look, right now it's between the 15 and 16, but it perfectly matches up to be one centimeter. And so we're going to take what we learn, we know about that, and we're going to try to do a multiplication problem. And so let's do 3 times 7. So we're going to take our green rod, which represents 3, and we're going to put 7 different rods down. Since they are all measuring 1 centimeter in length, it ends at number 21. So 7 equal groups of 3 is the same thing as 21. And you can also look at it differently if you use the black rod, which is equal to 7 you can make three equal groups of seven and it also ends on 21 so you know that seven times three is 21 or three times seven is 21. You can also figure out your multiplication facts if you do not have a ruler by just using simply your Cuisinier rods and so for instance here we have 4 times 4 because our pink rods equal 4 and so I have 4 groups of 4 right here and let's say we don't know what that equals up to so we can take our largest Cuisinier rod and line it up next to it that's our 10 so we know that 4 times 4 is larger than 10 and then Six matches up perfectly. So we know that 4 times 4, as we originally had right here, is equal to 10 plus 6, or 16. So 4 times 4 is 16. So you can also use Cuisinier rods when you're looking at division problems, which is really cool. So let's start with looking at a ruler, which I have out right here. And let's take the problem 24 divided by 6. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your rod that is 6 units long, and you're going to start it at the 24 so that the edge matches up at 24. And you're going to see how many different Cuisinier rods or groups of 6 you can fit before you get down to 0. And awesome. So as you can see here, you can fit four groups of six between 24 and zero. So 24 divided by six is four. And you can also do the same if you wanted to look at 24 divided by four. You can see how many rods fit between. There's one, two, three, four, five, six groups of four that fit between 24 and 0, so 24 divided by 4 is 6. So another cool thing we can do with Cuisinier rods is we can even do a long division problem. And so right now um, I want to show you guys 45 divided by 3. And so right here we have 4 of our orange rods which equal 10, so 40, and then um, the yellow rod equals 5, so we have 45 right here. 
And what we want to do is, since we're dividing by 3, we want to try to make a rectangle that is 3 units by something else. So what we're going to start with is our 10s, and we're going to see, can we make a rectangle that has 3 10 rods, so it would be 3 by 10, and we can. So remove these ones out of the way a little bit. And right now we have a rectangle and it is three on this side and 10 on the top. So we have three by 10 or 30. So we can subtract 30 over here. And since we have a 10 in the tens place, put a one up there and we can subtract come down and we have 15 left still. And so what we want to do is we want to see, can we make another rectangle that is 3 by 10? No, because we only have one left. So let's see if we can tra trade in our Cuisinier rod for a different one so that we can make another rectangle that's 3 by something. And if you look, you can see that two 5 rods equal up to 10. So if we trade in our orange rod for those two, then we are still with 15 left over, but now we can manipulate it a little bit so that we can make another rectangle and we'll put it next to it. So now it is three by five because these are 10 units in length, these are five units in length, and there's three of them. And so since we have a five in the ones place, put a five down here and three times five is 15 and we subtract and there's nothing left over. So the answer of 45 divided by three is 15. And right here we have three tens or 30, five tens or 15. If you add them together, you get 45. Cuisinaire rods are so easy, even your cat can use them. less frustrating when you can actually see what you're doing when you multiply and divide rather than simply just solving the problem step by step. Well, I hope that this helped you. Thank you for watching.